Here are two electromechanical switches that I've made this year. By the way, all a happy new year, 2012. Uh, this is one model. It's the first model that I've made. I made it uh, in relation to my solar energy system. I had to make a switch that switched off at a certain moment. And this switch is completely made from these pieces of metal. You can buy them in a metal shop and rings. These types of screws, metal screws are also usable for wood. <coughs> And here you see the, uh, the relay basis, the coil, is made from a bolt and I wound it a wire on it. It takes quite a high current, 5 ampere or so, to switch the whole circuit off. But the circuit was made to um, switch also a high current off. So you need a quite a strong current to activate the relay. I want to demonstrate it now. When I push it in here, it, <coughs> it hangs and when I put on 12 volt to the coil, it goes back, the contact goes back. Show it again. And this is another model. In fact it works almost the same way. And um, the special thing about this uh, electromechanical relay is that it has a special contact to uh, catch the spark. That's this contact here. Because of the enormous current in the solar system uh, there is a, is a spark and the spark can easily weld the contacts together from, uh, from the, um, the electrical circuit. So this uh, contact is first made when I, when I put it on and after that the real contact is made here. So when there is sparking in the circuit it's catched by this part of the electromechanical switch and this can easily be exchanged later. So it has two make contacts. And as I told, it's very easy to make. Perhaps someone is interested in this uh, type of switch. I'm also working on a homemade relay. This is a first experiment. This is a coil. It has 88 DC ohms wound with wire from a 0 0.2 millimeters copper wire. And um, I have to say it gets quite hot on 12 volt. I assume it's approximately 70 or 80 volts, so 80 uh, degrees Celsius. So it's uh, it gets a little bit too hot. <coughs> but I'm uh, I'm experimenting on. I always use this kind of uh, uh, isolation tape. It's coroplast. It comes from Germany. PVC tape. It has very good properties. I tested it with a high voltage generator. And this tape can handle approximately uh, 4000 volts, perhaps even more. You can repair high voltage circuits with this tape. And other tapes, cheap tapes, like this for instance, this is cheap tape. This cannot handle such a high voltage. When you use this uh, tape in a high voltage circuit, you will see that the high voltage and current creep through the tape. and in fact, it doesn't oscillate. <coughs> it doesn't uh, isolate on uh, such a high voltage. When you want to make such a coil, use one tape layer first on the bolt and then wind it with uh, copper wire. The reason is that the windings have to be close to the core of the metal bolt. That makes the electromagnetic uh, field stronger. <coughs> 